You know I really wish that Ubisoft would stop dicking around and breaking this stuff. Go to your Steam menu, go to settings, and go to system. We're looking for something called enable developer mode. I don't know why I always think it's at the bottom, but it's not. It's towards the top, so I'll scroll back up. And there it is, enable developer mode. I have it turned on, make sure yours is turned on. There's a bunch of different ways we could do this. This is just the easiest way. Go to Ghost Recon, hit the gear, and go to developer, not manage, developer and delete Proton files. Confirm, that resets the Proton prefix to like out of the box. So that's perfect. We're gonna hit play. And by the way, don't use Vulkan, use DirectX 11. Uh, it seems to be a little more stable. In this case, it doesn't matter because all I want to do is show you the error message. I sped this up a little bit. There you go. If this is why you're here, if you're here for the Uplay installation bug, this video is for you. If you're here for my controller doesn't work, I get a crash, this, that, and the other. If it's not the Uplay installation, this video is probably not going to help you. So I'm going to save you the four or five minutes that you would have normally spent watching this video. All right, hit OK. And it's time to go to desktop mode. You know we weren't going to escape desktop mode. Quicken that up a little bit for you. Open up the browser of your choice, paste the link in the description below. In this case, uh, it's here, but uh, just hit enter on it and make sure it goes to downloads and it preserves the EXE file extension. Otherwise, stuff will be broken. That was really quick, really easy. You can close the browser, we're done. Now, if you do not have Proton Tricks already installed, you're gonna need to do that from the Discover store. And uh, I'm gonna just show you real quick how to do it. You launch Discover, type in Proton, hit enter, and Proton Trick should be on the top three. So select that, hit install, and that's it. I'll close this now. We're back to our regularly scheduled program. I'm going to launch Proton Tricks. You're going to find Ghost Recon in the list. Select it and hit OK. Now this could take a moment or two depending on your PC. If Ghost Recon is installed on your SD card, you're gonna have to do something before you do this step because otherwise Proton Tricks won't see it. Look in the description below for a link on how to do that. I didn't wanna make this video any longer for those that were using the SD card. Okay, select install an application, hit okay, and then hit cancel. There you go. Now run an arbitrary executable. Right there, hit OK. Go find your Uplay installer in your downloads, hit OK. And we wait a moment. Again, this could take a moment. Okay, don't worry about that, there you go. Okay, so select your installer language, hit accept, and install in the default location. When it asks you if you want to run it or not, you say no. So uncheck the run Uplay, bloop, and hit finish. Great. Now, oddly enough, you can just close out of here, get out of here. That's it, we're going to return to gaming mode now. Again, we'll trim this up a little bit for the sake of time. Go to Ghost Recon, make sure you're on Proton Experimental. I didn't show that here. And again, do not run Vulcan. You will have to sign in. Now, people claim that it's very difficult to sign in to Ubisoft using the built-in keyboard. So you might do this over in desktop mode or just plug a keyboard in, man. Okay, so you see Uplay actually ran this time and it updated itself. This is the whole trick. This sequence of events has to happen before the game will behave itself. Now, it used to be you could just inject Ubisoft Connect right in there and life would be good, but it doesn't work that way anymore for this game, which is complete nonsense. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna sign in. Again, I recommend, I warn you with peace and love, peace and love, use a keyboard. Um, don't try to use the physical keyboard. You'll probably find it a lot easier, but do what you gotta do. All right, now this looks considerably better. Am I right? This is the standard Ubisoft Connect initialization screen. And this is what we were hoping to see the first time we ran the game, but alas, no. All right, now you see it's gonna launch the game, right? So we know that it's working. Not a problem, but if you want to see it all the way to gameplay, stick around here. We're going to show you all that in just a second. Again, I want you guys to kind of get a feeling of how long this takes. All right. I did do a cut there so I could run it in DirectX mode instead of Vulkan mode. In Vulkan mode, it hangs. Just hit B to get back out and launch it again in DirectX. You're fine. I know you're on a Steam Deck. You think Vulkan's better, but for some reason, uh, it doesn't behave right. All right, of course we get our warnings, blah, blah, blah. Everything is coming up roses now. 
There's the overlay message. And I'm gonna cut through the whole Ubisoft intro nonsense just to show you some gameplay. It's a legitimate cut. And here you go, it works. I'm using the built-in controls and it works fine. Everything's coming up roses. I hope this helps out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll never know when something like this is gonna show up on my channel and you wanna be the first to know. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.